as I record this, it's 4.25 a.m. It's Thursday, December the 29th. And um, I just literally just heard the news that um, Philip Brandon Gilmore, better known as Sinful the P, has passed away. Um, it was said by his close loved ones that it wasn't foul play. It wasn't something, you know, it wasn't another human being took him off this earth. Um, they're still trying to get the exact details. They said he was at home, his home in, I believe it was Mississauga, Canada. This is, this is horrible. I got that numb chill when you hear someone who you, you, you saw value in, someone you knew, someone you liked, someone you were entertained by, whatever the case, that feeling you get when someone passes sudden, very suddenly, you know, um, I've been following his channel or channels for the last two years, the last, <clears throat> excuse me, the last few years. And I was wondering where has he been because he hadn't uploaded anything or posted in his community section in some time. And um, him and Kev, uh, him and uh, Kevin Samuels passed away in the same year. I was never really into Kevin. I was never into Kev, uh, Kevin Samuels. I never saw any of his videos really. I heard of him, but I would watch Sinful the P. I would be up at four in the morning, six in the morning, whatever, watching him. Um, I didn't agree with the whole like pimp thing but he was much more than that he was very intelligent you can tell he was well read he knew the bible i think he knew many religions he was um, a quick read a, a good study he knew history he had great taste in music great taste in clothes that's one thing about pimps great taste in uh cologne um obviously if you knew who he was and those who don't know he's a youtuber he he um he was from, you know, the lifestyle of being a pimp and what have you. But uh, like I said, he was more than that. Um, he was, he would, he would tell you he was charismatic and magnetic, which he was. He was a great speaker, very funny. He could sing. <laughs> he was hilarious. He can do impersonations. And um, I remember he had just posted that he had lost like a hundred pounds. <sighs> Um, this is, this is horrible news. If you knew who he was, if you followed him, this is just horrible news. Um, you know, whenever a known rapper or celebrity would pass, however they pass, he would usually do a live and he would, um, he would usually set off a live with a, a two minute, five minute, seven minute prayer. He would pray hard for the person who passed their family. The audience in the room watching and listening. He always came with the word. He knew he knew the Bible to a T. Um, he had great understanding of it. And uh, as soon as I saw he pass, immediately what he used to always say came to me, which was the mercies of God. The mercies of God. Don't die like a fool. You know. A lot of times he would say that if I died right now, I'd be heading, you know, to hell on a scholarship or the lake of fire because I haven't got right with God. And if God blesses me to see, you know, a day where I turn my life around and give it to him. This is, um, this is just, this is horrible. Like I said, I didn't always agree with the whole pimp thing as far as what that is, but you don't want this person to pass. Often on his lives, he would reference his mother who had passed, his grandmother who had passed, and 
I immediately thought that, uh, <sighs> this is just terrible, man. Um, he he was, <clears throat> excuse me. He was so funny. He I I don't care who you watch, who you subscribe to. He was the funniest person ever on YouTube. Clearly, he was the best at roasting you. He was witty, clever, great at rebuttals. He's the funniest person ever on YouTube. Clearly. It's not even close. Um, he got so many classic quotes, videos. <laughs> the roast. I can't tell you how many videos, how many times I watch him roast Hassan Campbell. Oh my God. The, the stuff he would come, them three-hour lives, he would roast Hassan Campbell, and then he played the music. Oh, my God. Um, so many people. Um, now, of course, on this Internet, you know, the Internet is full of, the Internet is full of cowards. So, you know, a lot of people are, you know, giving their condolences and memories. And then, of course, you have the clowns who's like, good riddance, or he, he going to hell on a scholarship, or all that nonsense, but... Then people don't matter. The internet is a, you know, a home where people say and do anything that they would never say or do in real life. So it does not matter. It has no meaning. But um, there definitely is an outpouring. Um, there's a lot of weight. There's a lot of things he said, that's in my vocabulary. A lot of ways, perspectives he gave. A lot of a lot of ways that he he framed God. He gave you education on God. He gave you education on the lifestyle of being a pimp. He gave you perspective on different things. And he would even say that, you know, sometimes there were there would be people in his lives who's like, they criticize him for being a pimp. And he's talking about God. But then he would say, you know, if God used a donkey to give a message of the word, he would definitely use me. So, you know, the point was, God may use anyone to get a point across because there are people who, they might not go to church or read any biblical literature, but they might connect to him because his topic is a rapper, and in watching him talk about a rapper, you actually got the word of God that gave you perspective and might have helped you in your life consciously or subconsciously. And he gave me that because the the message he pushed of mercy and, 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 and getting right and taking care of yourself and all these things, man. He was a powerful speaker. Even when he was being the funniest, even in his funniest messages, it was still gravity. Um, people who are uh, associated with him, they're still getting the details right. Apparently, um, there's some difficulties because he lived in Canada, so trying to get his body back to the United States is um, it's 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 not so simple but um the people that uh were close to him they're working on that um just i don't know i just try to remember the gravity he had in things he said um he, he when he would roast whack 100 or charleston white i mean he, he just oh my god classic he would let people call in and try and roast him and then he would destroy them um he always appreciated, you know, when people don donated a dollar, he appreciated one dollar like he appreciated a thousand dollars. His his impersonations of um, the the Don Magic Wand. <laughs> she gotta be ready for the Kentucky Derby. Oh my God, his um, my favorite uh videos he did was. He reviewed Pimps Up, Holes Down. Oh, my goodness. That's when he did that impression. Um, also, he was roasting Ice-T for stuff Ice-T was saying. But, uh, I mean, the the Hassan Campbell roast. Classic. Classic. Um, you know, he would, he would make... You know, one thing about him... 
he would make the most like obscure references. Like he would, he would, he would say somebody looked like Bill Winnington or, oh my God, just, he, oh man, this is, this is a great loss. This is a great loss, man. This was a, um, a monumental individual. And um, that's my thoughts. I don't know what else to say. But uh, that's my thoughts. Like, share, subscribe. And um, I hope his, uh, I hope anyone who was impacted by him, loved him, knew him. I hope they um, get through this horrible, tough time. That is it.